Look, see my first hunt, second day of bud season, 2022. And uh, just excited to be out here, you know. Thanking the Lord, just uh, enjoy seeing some deer on my bud. Um, but I guess we'll put another hunt together. Tim's got some good bucks on camera, so um, we'll see what we come up with. Well, going for an afternoon hunt here in second week of second week of uh, deer season, bow season this year, and uh, these hot summer days, you kind of need everything we can do to kind of keep our scent down. So perfect wind. Yeah, the wind's good for today and everything. So it's a buck of doe day today because there's always something we can do with a doe for sure. This is actually at a house we're painting. I'm gonna be up here working on their deck and they want every deer you can possibly kill, killed. Dad's gonna be out here trying to kill these deer. This yard they've got back here has more persimmon trees in it than I've ever seen in my life. I may slip out on the other side of the yard right at dark or something if I can get done in time and ease up a tree and see if I can shoot one. Now we got deer popping up and it's still early. It's about 4.30 right now in the afternoon. We thought we were going to try to get in a little bit early, but work kept us busy. But we're going to get set up. They're going to keep coming. So we'll see. Say that again. I know how to let, I know how to let the air out of one of them. It's almost 6.30, I'm out here at a customer's house, we just finished up painting. I stink, but I'm gonna change and see if I can get out here and shoot one of their deer real quick before dark. Dad was with me, he's already in a tree. I watched too, walked right by him, must have been just out of bow range or something. Anyway, I'm gonna get set up and see what happens. This looks like a good tree. Just got set up. Had a duck come walking in and blow at me. While I was climbing up, it's 6.50, so I've got maybe an hour to hunt, but I figured what the heck, I was already here. These are yard deer, so they're not the most intelligent by any means, but we'll see what happens. Now, like I said, Tanner hunted this area last year. He had a lot of really nice bucks on camera last year in this area. So, you see this young eight point there, it's up and coming, so. Pretty looking at it. Looks like maybe a possible one, I guess. As you could see, there was a couple deer out here. 
I didn't think I would see one. No. I seen what I seen out there was. I seen some back straps and I seen some deer sausage and some deer jerky and um, a lot of spaghetti and chili, deer chili. Is that crazy or what? Looking at the shot on that doe, looked like a perfect shot, so I think she fell right over there. But that's the main thing for me as a bow hunter, or hunter in general, is to really, um, just to really, you know, make an ethical shot. And uh, some guys shoot at longer yardage, and I, I've always been one of them guys that shoot it closer up, and, you know, uh, just to make sure, you know, I make a good clean shot on them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get down and go back and get something to drink and everything. Wait for Tanner to come around. I've been sat down about five minutes. Dad just texted and shot his shot. Honestly, I might get down because, help him because, number one, it's cool, I'm excited. Number two, there's literally thousands of no sims on me. I mean, like, everywhere I've ever hunted, I've never seen so many no sims. What's up, Bubba Lee? Dude, still got it, huh? Yeah, a little bit. You bring that bug spray? Up. Yeah, you seen what I just went got. Where'd that come from? Out of my backpack. So you wanna go with me and go look it up? Yeah, I reckon so. Dude, I couldn't. I would've told you, I would've probably stayed, but I couldn't take the bugs anymore. <laughs> I mean, I ain't been sitting there 10 minutes. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Well, after four years of not hunting, and, um, me and Tame has been shooting bows, and he's phenomenal with his bow, and I'm out there with my 20 yards, you know. But felt good about being in here today. Looks like it's going to pay off. So maybe the next time we'll have a big old buck on film. tame has got some good ones on there, so we're going to see. But let's go find us some. Let's go find us some deer meat right now. Can we go for? Right here. I've seen it log from the tree. Pretty sure she got there by that log. Yep, there it is, right there, brother. Thank you. Good day. Good shot. Yeah. Man, put it on her, buddy. Here. Hmm? I'll drag her closer to the yard. That's your exit? That's, that's the entry. <coughs> hey, huh? pretty good shooting. What's he talking about? <laughs> Father and son team out here right now. Here, I'll drag her out closer. Bring, uh, well, he said he'd bring the tractor down. Yeah, he ain't gonna bring it into the woods right now. That's why I, that's why I fed that boy right there good. Come on up, he's a hoss, ain't he? Proud to have, be out here with him. Sure and blessed to have him him and all my boys and my daughter teaching them all about this stuff dad and our landowner went over and got the tractor and got that deer out i pulled the truck over here and meet them As you can see right here, we had a good afternoon. Um, she can, shot a nice big fat doe, and you know, you got to kind of keep the balance out there. I put Tanner on the big bucks, I'll shoot the does, we keep it right. But, um, you know, like I said, we're getting ready to clean her up, and, and we, we thank the Lord for everything we get a chance to do out there. So, um, it's just a beautiful day, and a lot of deer, and you probably get a chance to see parts of the video and, and just covered up with them. So, but um, yeah, we do all kinds of things with, with the deer, so sausage and, and back straps and, and everything else. So, but I'm getting ready to do some cleaning here and, and got to follow through with all of them. Thanks for enjoining in. It's a thrill. It's been about five years since I shot a deer with a bow. And literally, it's my first. It's my first um, filming myself and everything else. And, and Tanner's been doing it for years, does a great job at it. I'm still learning, so, but um, it's a great way to, you know, bring it out to people that enjoy hunting and stuff and just outdoors, but um, 
Yeah, it's been a, it was a wonderful, wonderful hunt. And as you can see, made a perfect shot on this doe, and and uh, that's what it's all about. So we'll have to bring you to the kitchen. We'll do a cooking segment. <laughs> all right.